لسه كان ذكر في يعني في جواد ما كويس Nehru's lost six children in a bombing. She's one of many people we spoke to in the Nuba Mountains in southern Kordofan in Sudan, where the Sudanese government has been fighting an anti-insurgency war against armed opposition for the last four years. One of the Sudanese government's tactics in the rebel-controlled parts of Nuba Mountains is using Antonov cargo planes or fighter jets to drop bombs on civilian areas. We saw destruction of houses, clinics, hospitals, schools, and we met people whose homes had just been destroyed that day by aerial bombardment by the Sudanese government. It happened this morning. I was going to the farm, and I, I had the Antonov. Everything here in this house destroyed, chairs and beds, and even the shelter, and even the house it destroyed completely. In so many of these instances, there was no sign of any rebel presence on the ground. There appeared to be no justification for the bombing. We're seeing a lot of deaths of kids from the bombings. We're also seeing serious injuries, including maimings. The Sudanese government is not allowing aid in. The result is that people are suffering. No food, no health care, no education. And it's the children who are really bearing the brunt of this. They're not getting immunized and they're not getting proper schooling. We transfer from permanent school to that one which built from perishable materials. And we just take them there. And when the aeroplane camps, comes and they run to the caves and they hide. It's been four years that the Sudanese government has gotten away with this bombing campaign that completely violates international humanitarian laws. The United Nations has threatened sanctions for abuses committed by both sides to this conflict, but they never followed through. It's time that the UN and the African Union and the member states hold those responsible for the ongoing abuses and the indiscriminate bombing to account.